Good day, dear students. How are you? I hope you are fine. Let's start our lesson. Turn to lesson 7. Before beginning our lesson, let's watch the video and you guess what theme is today. They're close to being wolves, possibly due to its pointed ears, piercing eyes and pronounced snout. The husky is one of the most wolf-like dogs. However, recent studies have shown that the dog is not directly descended from the wolf, but is instead a very close relative. Number two, can have eyes of different colors. Having each eye be a different color is something known as heterochromia. This benign aspect is usually due to a hereditary genetic mutation. Heterochromia is also present in other animal species including humans. Number three, they adapt to different environments. The husky is a dog which can adapt without problems to cold and icy climates. Its coat is a testimony to its origins in Siberia, where they derive their name. Surprisingly, however, they are able to adapt to more temperate climates. The same cannot be said for other Nordic dogs, such as the Alaska Malamute, which often suffers from intense heat. Number four, they have a unique capacity for vocalization. The husky is a particularly talkative dog, able to emit a large variety of sounds. They also stand out for their howl, which can be heard up to 15 kilometers away. Some huskies even seem to sing, talk, and even whine, although it is quite unusual for them to bark. Number five, it is one of the oldest dogs in the world. The husky is a dog which was originally raised by the Shukshi tribe in Northern Siberia. While these dogs had certain work with... Okay, now the same is Huskies, as you understood. Now, lesson objectives of our lesson are understand classroom instructions, analyze information, and diagram it. Pre-reading, look through the text and underline unknown words. Now we are going to read the text. Husky dogs are more than just animals to some people. Huskies can help in a lot of different ways. The native people of the Arctic are called the Inuit. They live in Alaska, Canada and Greenland. They live in very cold climates. The Inuit people use huskies because the dogs are strong and can live in very cold climates too. They are also very good workers. Today, a lot of Inuit people live a traditional lifestyle. They use animals for food, transport and clothes. In the Arctic, there aren't many vegetables or fruit. In fact, in some places, there aren't any supermarkets. The basic diet of the Inuit peoples is the meat and the fish. The Inuit hunt seals, polar bears and reindeer, and their huskies help them. Inuit hunters travel with their dogs. They make sledges with animal bones and skin. And teams of huskies pull the sledges. These dogs can pull heavy sledges and go very fast. Of all the animals in the Arctic, the husky is the Inuit's favorite helper. Now vocabulary. Inuit, Inuit. The term Inuit refers broadly to the Arctic indigenous population of Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. Inuit means people. Lifestyle, Umersalta, Diet, Dieta, Hunt, Angaulau, Seals, Murlir, Marski, Kotiki, Reindeer, Boha, 
Sledge Shana. Okay. Now let's answer the questions. Who are the Inuit? Where do they live? Why do Inuit use huskies? What is the basic diet of Inuit people? Can the dogs pull heavy sledges? Have you ever seen huskies? Do you like them? Exercise 3, page 19, student's book. Read the article again and correct the sentences. Let's watch one more video. But this video is about what suffix er. Er is used with old English words for professions or occupations such as baker, banker, docker, farmer, lawyer, master, miner, porter, skipper, waiter. Er is also used to indicate someone performing an action such as blogger, employer, lecturer, payer, performer, player, runner, teacher. It is also used for the comparative of adjectives bigger, harder, larger, milder. Er is also used to describe a frequently repeated action such as flatter, flicker, shudder, spatter. Okay, let's do this task. Ear yes, suffix short so the word to show how the word in the ER is being used. The first it means ER means more or less, ER means a person who ER just is just a part of the word. Let's give an example. Sweet that means more or less sweet, sweeter. Means a person who the walker, yes, the person who walks. This is just a part of the word, of the word brother. In this way, fill the table. Now, summing up what we know about huskies. Huskies are born to run. Their skills impressed Alaskans. A group saved a small town in Alaska. The army used them. They are clo closely related to wolves. They are not great watchdogs. Also, they can live in very cold climate years. And then they may have eyes of different colors. Okay then, your homework is to choose one animal, maybe it's your favorite animal, and search information about it. The lesson is over. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.